What's up, everybody, and welcome to a Thursday edition of the Squeeze video. I am Tyler Conium. Not a bad night last night, not a losing night last night, which is great. We actually went 3-4 and four overall, uh, up 0 0.16 units on the day. So the two games from the video last night, those went 1-2. and two. Um, Penn State lost to Michigan State, which was surprising, which was uh, a bit of an issue there. We did get the over on the... Let me have a look. Um, nailed the over on Vancouver San Jose that flew over. It was a 6-5 final in overtime, and we did lose the Atlanta Hawks. Uh, they lost to the New York Knicks, but we finally hit a same-game parlay. So if you follow me on Twitter, I said it was a great time to put money on the Raptors in a same-game parlay because they were playing the Los Angeles Lakers without LeBron and without Anthony Davis. Really sucks for the Toronto fans. So we made uh, we made up a same-game parlay. That was a plus 270 hit, which was nice. So we finished 3-4 and four on the day, up 0.16 units. And on the week here for this squeeze, we are 5-7 and seven and up 0 0.8 units. So not too bad. Uh, another three bets today. We've got one bet in hockey, two bets in the NBA. I was looking at the Raiders and the Rams, and uh, I should have bet it earlier. Earlier in the week, the Raiders were minus four. It's gone to minus six and a half. Um, I don't know. I might still bet that number, but I'm not entirely sure. I don't love it. So we're, we're, maybe we'll do something on Twitter or Telegram later. Um, let me know again if you guys like the Telegram, if you think Discord is an option. I'm still trying to figure that out, and I do have a reason why it's good to, to have something like that or if I just stick with Twitter. But anyways, let's get started. We're going to start with the NHL, and we've got the Los Angeles Kings visiting the Toronto Maple Leafs tonight. Coming into this game, the Kings are 14-10. and 10. Toronto is one of the better teams in the NHL. They're sitting at 16-5-6. and 6. Only 11-16 and 16 ATS, though. Kings have been pretty good ATS at 15-13. and 13. Uh, At home this season, the Leafs are 8-2-3. And, and away from their home, LA is 7-5-2. So not a bad road team. So... The odds on this game, um, I like just straight money line, but it's minus 175 for the Leafs on the money line. So I'm actually going to take that in regulation. So we're going to eliminate overtime. We're going to eliminate the shootout. And it's minus 109 for a regulation win for the Toronto Maple Leafs. So uh, lately, Leafs have been good. They're 4-0 in their last four games, playing on one day's rest. 4-0 on their last four against the Western Conference, and they're 6-1 on their last seven overall, so they're rolling. Of course, everybody knows about Mitch Marner's point streak. Uh, the LA Kings are 0-4 in their last four games following a win, so they're not really putting winning streaks together. And uh, the home team is 11-4 the last 15 times these two teams have met. So uh, I like Toronto's at home tonight. I like that a lot. Last two, last time these teams played was about a month ago. LA won four to two. Um, going back to last season, Toronto won their previous matchup six to two. So Toronto's rolling. LA, eh, not so much. Uh, I like Toronto at home, but take the regulation to get the better odds. So one unit there. Uh, now switching to the NBA, and this is why I mentioned things like Telegram or Discord, or if I just put it on Twitter, I like the Houston Rockets and the San Antonio Spurs to go under tonight. Last night, I got this number at 233.5, minus 110 at DraftKings. Looking at it now, that number has actually dropped to 231.5. So the line has dropped by two points. Now, it's still not necessarily a bad bet, and I'll tell you why. Uh, they're two bad teams. Two of the worst teams in the NBA. Houston is 7 and 17, San Antonio is 6 and 18. This game is being played in San Antonio where the Spurs are 3 and 10 at home. Rockets are only 3 and 12 on the road. Um he, San Antonio has lost 10 straight basketball games, so they have been brutal. The Rockets, they're coming off an overtime win against Philadelphia. Uh, before that, they lost to Golden State. They actually beat Phoenix by one point, lost to Denver uh back-to-back -back time. So Houston's actually been playing pretty good, but I do like this game to go under. So uh, the under is 4-0 in the Rockets' last four road games when they're playing a team with a losing record. Um, and then when you look at San Antonio, it's just under, 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 under. They're a bad team. They're 0-6 ATS in their last six, obviously, because they're just losing like crazy. Um, and when you look at their combined offenses, so Houston's offense is ranked 21st. They're averaging 111 points per game. Uh, San Antonio's even worse. They're averaging 109 points per game. They're ranked 27th. So when you combine those numbers, you're getting around 220. They shoot bad percentages. Um, oftentimes, it's it's going to go one way or the other. It's either going to fly over because it's two bad teams that don't play defense, and there's going to be a lot of 
buckets and three pointers, or it's going to go the other way and it's just two brutal teams. I like the original one, and I especially like that because the line is falling, which means that's where the money is headed. So get it where you can. You can shop around a little bit. I got it at 233 and a half at DraftKings. Um, you can also pay a little bit of juice to get that line down as well. But 233 and a half is a number I like a lot. Uh, minus 110 at DraftKings. Um, and that's just one flat unit there. And our last bet still in the NBA. Uh, we're just going to make it easy. It's going to be a money line bet. We've got there's only three games on the slate for tonight. Uh, and I like Denver at Portland. I like Portland to win this game on the money line. So Denver this year is 14 and 10. Portland, Portland is 13 and 11. They sputtered a little bit when they uh, were missing Dame Lillard for a little while with injury, but he is back now. He returned in their last game, which was a 116-100 win over Indiana. Uh, Portland's 5 and 5 at home, so not great. Denver's 8 and 7 on the road, so they're actually a pretty decent road team. Um, <clears throat> when you look at Denver, they're playing over a lot. So 6 and 1 in their last 7, over's 12 and 0, 12 and 4, sorry, in their last 16 following a loss. Then you look at Portland, they're playing a little bit more of the under. So under is actually 13-3-1 in their last 17 following an ATS win. Um, when you go back in the history of these two teams historically, uh, over is 10-4 and four in their last 14 and the over is 35-17. and 17. So those numbers don't mean a whole heck of a lot. Last time these two teams played was October 24th. It was a 135-110 win for Portland uh, and when they played last year Denver did win that game so just looking at the last time these teams played um, which again was a huge blowout and um, Lillard had 31 points uh, five rebounds six rebounds eight assists uh, Joe Kick had a brutal game he only shot three of he only took four shots he had nine points so I think Portland's on a bit of a roll now that they've got Lillard back. They want to make a push. I think they're a good team still in the Western Conference. And um, I like that number at minus 105. It's basically even money for the uh, for the Portland Trailblazers. So run down that card. I like the Toronto Maple Leafs and regulation. Minus 109, that's at Pinnacle Sports. We've got one unit on that. Uh, minus 110, I like the under Houston at San Antonio. Minus uh, sorry, under 233 and a half. See where you can get that number close to that as you can. And, and lastly, I like Portland on the money line. Probably have some more bets on Twitter. Maybe I'll put something on Telegram. We'll see. I like some action on the uh, Thursday night football game, which is the Oakland, Ra Oakland, Los Angeles Raiders against the Los Angeles Rams, the Battle of LA. Not too much going on in the NBA. Maybe we'll put a player prop down or something like that. But, uh, you know, drop a comment if you're going to fade or follow. Uh, and as always, let's talk sports.